What's going on, everybody? This is Chris Albert. I got Big Rob next to me. He's playing some zombie games. Say what's up, Big Rob. What's up, guys? How you doing? He's going to be uh, playing some zombie games next to me. So if you hear a bunch of screaming and stuff, um, well, that's not us killing people here. You see, this is uh, mine and Dad's back workout. We're starting off with some pull downs, going really super slow here, trying to activate every muscle. I got my elbows at the very bottom of the movement are pointing at the ground. I want you all to notice that. You really need to do that. I see too many people pointing their elbows behind them when they're doing this movement. That's working the rear delts. If you're pointing them at the ground, you're really hitting the lats. And that's what we're trying to do here is widen out those lats a little bit. Uh, that's why we have the neutral grip. You're going to see Big Thad do a set here in a second. He's got his U.S. Marine Corps shirt on. He wasn't in the Marine Corps, but I was, and I, I thank him for his support of Marines and uh, all things uh, military. Chatting away. Uh, so this workout was uh, was actually a pretty long workout. We did some cable work, some pull-ups, and a couple of variations of rows. This is a typical off-season workout. We're not doing a whole lot of sets, not a whole lot of reps here. We're just really trying to activate the muscle. Uh, here we're warming up with our assistance exercises first before we go into the heavier stuff. I think this is about our third or fourth set. Uh, you can tell by me dragging my ass and uh, my fine Nantucket red or pink tank top that I got on. Again, Dad's pointing his elbows at the ground. We're pausing at the bottom, trying to tense up those back, back muscles, developing that mind-muscle connection with the back. All right, the next exercise we do, we go over to the uh, assisted pull-up or the fat boy pull-up machine. Uh, what you can see there is that we, uh, we're we doing this. A lot of you guys are probably going to be sitting at home. Why the hell are these guys doing the assisted pull-up? Well, there's a big reason why we do it, and that's because this exercise helps us to do this movement as strict as possible. This machine really, really helps to activate everything. And so when you do this slow and you perfect the form on the pull-up, you're really getting everything in there. You're getting your lats. You're getting those muscles between your rhomboids and your lats. You're really trying to build detail into that upper back, and that's what we're, what we're doing here. You see I'm going very, very slow up, trying to pause at the bottom and get a really good negative. Uh, I weigh about probably about 205 pounds right now. Thad weighs around close to 300 so we've got quite a weight difference on us both but we both try to hammer out I think uh, 10 12 each set here not a whole lot of repetitions but a lot of muscle activation pausing at the top getting a really really good negative as we move along here you see us trying to get a stretch in get those lats going get that blood into those muscle cells because when they're contracting you're depriving them of blood we're trying to get more of a pump in there, trying to stretch those cells from the, from the inside out. We can get Thad up there. He's going to get his hitches on. And you're about to see a man pull 300 pounds into the air. Well, 300 pounds assisted by a machine into the air. It's on there. Again, really good pause at the top. Squeeze, down. Pause, squeeze, down. And that's the tempo you should be doing if you're trying this out at home. This really is going to help put a whole lot of detail into the back. It's going to really bring out those little, those little like Afghanistan-like roadmap things that come out on your back when you're doing your rear double bicep. Uh, and uh, that, that squeeze at the top really helps to build that mind-muscle connection between your back and uh, your mind. <laughs> All right, we move on to a close grip pull down. You see, we're facing opposite now. One of the there's a couple of reasons for doing this. One gives us a way better angle on hitting that middle back, that upper middle back, because uh, we can lean backward over the pad. 
The other thing is it gives us a guide. I always say try to hit your elbows to the pad. Try and really rocket your elbows down toward the ground and trying to hit the pad so that you're activating all those muscles. Again, we're, we're pausing at the bottom. This piece is a little bit wider than the normal V-grip piece. So we're going a little bit wider. We're hitting those rhomboids. We're hitting those muscles between the rhomboids and the lats. Just really, really trying to develop that mind-muscle connection before we get into our heavy work. We do, this is our third cable type exercise. Um, it actually hurts quite a bit. Put quite a bit of blood into the into the back there before we go, and you could see uh, you could see us really kind of start to strain. At least you'll see me strain when I do this set because I'm I'm freaking tired by this point. I'm I'm a little uh little weakling so. Rope myself in there. Uh, talking, 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 wasting time. Talking, wasting time. Scratch my nose. Talking, wasting time. Wasting time. I don't know what that's talking to me about right now. Uh, it's probably saying you're a little little guy. Whatever. Here we go. All right. And three, two, one. He's into it. There we go. All right. Now you see, I'm getting a good stretch here. Pulling it down, rocketing down the weight, and then coming up a lot slower, trying to get a good negative. Squeezing at the bottom. Squeeze. This is again probably our third or fourth set uh, on this exercise. Just trying to get as good of a pump as possible before we move on to those bent over rows. Right now we've been following a schedule where we're deadlifting every other, every other week and then we're doing a heavy row movement every other week. Uh, it's just the beginning, but um, in a few weeks we we'll probably know uh, whether or not it's serving us well. Both of us are trying to build more thickness and detail into our back. Uh, and this is the time to do it in the off season. Can't be worried about that stuff 10, 12, 8 weeks out of out of a show. Uh, you you really got to be starting to do this in the off season. So, killing zombies there, Rob. Yep. Er. Squeeze. Nice. Okay, from here we move into our first row variation, and, and what I want to emphasize to you is that we're actually doing two different types of rows in this workout. The first one is more of keeping our upper body at a 45 degree angle, a little bit higher of an angle, pulling the elbows back. It's really trying to get traps upper back and some of the lower lat. This is what's known as a Yates row, made famous by Dorian Yates. He actually used to do these um, quite a bit underhanded. Um, we're doing them overhanded, as you can see, but really trying to keep our torsos a little bit high. Really, really works that upper back quite a bit. We're trying to pull that barbell into our waist, into the nape of the waist, um, below the belly button. We're not trying to get it high or anything like that. Um, trying to bring our elbows back towards our sides. That was 135, not a real big problem. This here, 225, moving up a plate each set. Um, can't say that it was easy, but uh, we definitely both got through it. Pulling it back. You see Thad's really working his upper back there. Again, we're trying to build that thickness into our traps, into our upper backs. And uh, this row variation actually helps a whole lot with that. I actually need a whole lot of work on my traps. Uh, they're, they're the one thing that really doesn't stand out on me. My shoulders stand out quite a bit. My arms stand out quite a bit. My pecs stand out quite a bit. But getting my traps to pop or, is a real chore. And I actually can't stand training traps. I can't stand doing shrugs because there's such a minuscule amount of movement in the shrugs. I like fast or 
large sweeping movements like the squat, the deadlift, um, shrugs, I don't like too much. I didn't even really like the range of motion on this Yates row, but uh, the work needs to be done. That's what I need to improve. And so that's what I'm doing. Pulling it back again, trying to keep my elbows backwards, not pulling them to the sides, not trying to activate the rear delts or anything like that. Really trying to get that upper back. I think I got about eight, nine reps there. Then we move up and we go to three plates. Now this is actually gonna be pretty funny when you see me doing this. Um, Thad gets a few reps here. Now the thing is, Thad outweighs me by 100 pounds and I'm always trying to do what Thad does. Uh, sometimes because I'm, I'm just plain stupid. Uh, other times because, you know, I, I, I might have a death wish. I don't know, we'll see. Um, today's squat session didn't, was, well, we, I didn't go too crazy, but I'm sure down the line you'll see, uh, see some squat sessions where I try to do something stupid. Just because that's, that's my nature. I like doing, doing dumb things, and that's why we do this in the first place. So that's why I train at Metroflex and not fucking 24-hour fitness because I don't want anybody telling me how to train or, or what I can't do or whether or not I can drop weight or anything like that. So let's go into these rows here. Picking it up, I've actually got a pretty good deadlift, and I'm actually fairly strong with rows, so I get some up there, right up there. The last few are pretty bad, but that's okay. Okay, now for those of you like, whoa dude, he needs to bend over a little bit more for that row. We go down and we do another variation of the row, where we're more bent over, and our arms come out just a little bit more. You'll see a lot more movement on these as we pull. See Thad's getting a much larger range of motion on, on this set of rows because we're, we're switching exercises now. We're doing a different variation, no longer the Yates row. I'm trying to hit lower on our lats. And then I come in. Hitching up, hitching up. Okay. Notice I'm, I push my butt back to come down. Getting it up there. Using a bit of momentum here, but bent over, trying to get a lot of repetitions. Trying to rocket that weight up so that I can get some back stimulus. Muscle working upon muscle. A lot of you are probably going to be sitting at home like, wow, that wasn't really strict. Well, it wasn't, fucker. I mean, that's not the point. The point was to get muscle, act upon muscle, pulling those that, that weight back into the waist, getting as much muscle activation from the back as possible. We did our strict stuff earlier in the workout. And as you can see from the way I did my pull downs and my pull ups and everything else, uh, that's that was the point. We were extremely strict and then we moved into the heavier movements to move some weight and activate some more muscle fibers. Now we're back into pullovers, cable pullovers, trying to hit those lower lats. Basically what we're trying to do here is keep our arms as straight as possible, pulling the cable into our waist below our belly button. Trying to squeeze at the bottom as much as possible. I go a good bit lighter on these. I'm really not so strong on these, but they are a great finisher. The more more repetitions you get, the better off you are in hitting those lower lower lats. I'm trying to build a wider back here. Pulling it down. That is our final exercise. I hope you guys enjoyed this back workout. I'm going to pull a chest workout probably tomorrow sometime. Uh, we'll be filming that for you. If you guys have any questions, hit me up. Getting the shredded at gmail.com. I'm always here for you. Hit me up on Facebook, my new Facebook page, Getting the Shredded. Look it up. Like it. Love it.